Hi, today I'd like to address a very serious concern arising in public these days about privacy and radiation from electronics. Here we have a smart meter made by Landis and Gear. It is the AXD SD focus form. We're going to do a demonstration of it, how it works, and we're going to tear it down after we see how it works. We're going to plug it in up there at the meter socket on the other side of my wall here. You can't see it at the moment, but I'll show it. It has 240 volts live, phase to phase, and phase to ground it has 120 volts at 30 amps breakage, breaker. Alright, let's plug it in. I'm going to position the camera here. The top two terminals on here are always live on a residential application as well as industrial. Care should be taken. Lots of care. Okay, here is the meter. It's plugged in and I'll show you all the functions it goes through on its own. There's also a blinking light on the TS2 module, I believe it is here on the side, that lets us know that it has communication with the electrical company. You can see the two bars here on the bottom are not moving. That is due to the fact that there is no current draw. I have no load on the terminals, on the bottom two terminals that would go to your home. There is only two top terminals that are live to provide power to this equipment. Now I'm going to pull it out. Well, actually, before I pull it out, I'm going to open the, the lid here. I'm going to show you a few functions that these buttons do. you got to be very careful when you open this lid. This is your reset button. Hold on, let me position the camera right. That'll just bring us back to the test screen and it'll reset the demand features. That is test. I guess that's for some sort of testing, I'm not exactly sure. We'll close that. And this is your scroll function. This just scrolls through the different screens that this shows. Kilowatts volt amps, test screen, kilowatt hours, and that's pretty much it for that. Alright, I'm going to set the camera down and we're going to pull this out. And then I'm going to tear it down and show you what's inside. Hold on just one second, bear with me here. You should almost use gloves when you do this. This is very dangerous. You can't put your hands behind it. You have a very... I got whacked pretty good by these a couple times, so there's not, it's nothing to play around with, especially if it's the real deal and this is unfused and it's right off the transformer on the pole. I don't have a plastic cover with me at the moment, and I'm, I'm the only one in my room and in the house, so I can just leave it open like this for now. Now let's tear it down. My room is a hellish mess, so forgive me on that. You know, I don't care what they think, but whatever. Now this here, this will just slide like the cover. And inside, I'll pull out the banana plug. Without damaging anything. Here, I'm going to reposition so the sun ain't so bad. I'm going to try to.
Now these plugs are all replaceable. This does not ruin the meter itself. Here is the meter logic and function and the TS2 module on the bottom which relays information automatically to the power lines and back to the utility company. That one on the bottom there. You have a really good big big capacitor, very high values. Yeah, that's the module on the bottom. You have a switching mode power supply there, which is sometimes what people complain about on here. There you would have a battery or a capacitor that would store energy. Here it is on the front. This particular application does not require it. And these here are IR ports or infrared reading ports. That's pretty much it for this part. There ain't a whole lot to it. This board on top is just all the meter logic. You could take this bottom part out and it would still be a meter. It just wouldn't read automatically. And here is a more interesting part. This is the bottom. Inside of here is a big switch. It will pull your power off remotely. They have the ability through these two wires here. This goes to a direct current powered motor. DC motor. These here. Blue and white. Those are the CTs. The current transformers which supplies the meter logic with uh, the amount of power you're using and red and green are power voltage 120 each and so are these also I'm not sure exactly why they have a, have a duplicate but I know the blue and the, and the gray here they'll go to a black and red which are right here which go to the bottom module it can it supplies the bottom AMR or AMI with um, the power needed to send long distance communications. That's pretty much it. Here's the back. This is the top. It's a thing there to hang it for testing. Load, line, assemble in Mexico. That's pretty much it for it, I guess, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.